Um, I hope you're doing well today. Um, God just wants me to say it's never too late. Somebody's feeling discouraged out there right now, like there's no hope. Maybe someone you know got sick with COVID. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe something's going on. But the Lord wants me to say it's never too late for the turnaround. Never too late for God to do what he what what he finds in his good pleasure to do and he wants me to say it's never too late never too late you may feel like it's too late because you already lost your job or your family member is already sick or um you already lost everything but the lord says it's never too late there is something stirring for someone. All the disappointments, all the health crises, everything. It's going to be worth something. It's going to be worth something. And the glory of God will fall like you wouldn't believe in your life. And the glory of the Lord is already fallen in ways although even though it's going even though it doesn't feel like glory right now with the racial tension and the pandemic or whatever the lord says it's not too late he will turn it around he's the god of the turnaround he's the god of the turnaround and he wants me to say it's never too late it's never too late to start that business. It's never too late to do what he's called you to do. You're never too old to do what he's called you to do. Just stay the course. Stay the course. Stay the course and know that he is with you. Despite everything going on, he is with you. Despite Despite all you've lost, he's with you, and he's working all that you've lost into something wonderful, into something that you've never experienced before. All of all of this stuff, all this time in history is just getting ready for a greater time in history, a time that we've never um, seen before. We think that everything is over when for God it's just beginning. He he says he says that everything now you think is ending everything that is our ending is God's beginning. Let me say that again. Everything that is our ending is God's beginning. It's not the end. It's only the beginning. It's only, it's only, every issue that we have is to show us um, what deficiency we have, not so he can punish us or accuse us or do anything negative, just so he can fix it, just so he can show us who we are and, and who he's created us to be. He's working out something in this drama he's working on something with the racial tension he's working on something with the pandemic he's working it all for his good um because you can't fix something that you that you don't know of so what this time in history has exposed it has exposed um who nations really are it has exposed how prepared we really are it, for the job market, for a health crisis or whatever. Because so that we could put together solutions so that stuff like this never happens again. He's exposing it so he, so he can fix it. Even in your life, he's exposing all the... All of, 
um, the deficiencies or whatever in your spending habits or whatever so that he can bring to you solutions. So stop crying about what has left your life or what has happened and start praying about, okay, Lord, you've showed me that this is a deficiency in my life. How do you want me to solve it? What is the strategy for this hour? And that's what we need to be praying about. We need to be praying about strategy. He's saying, I want to give you a strategy. Are you listening? Are you, are you, are you teachable? He's saying, I want to give you strategies for, for your life. And I want to give the nation strategies for, um, to deal with racial, racial tension, to deal with the pandemic and health crisis. But are you willing to be, to be taught? I think before this pandemic, we were all a bit too, too self-assured. But since this pandemic, it has exposed vulnerabilities in our healthcare system, vulnerabilities around the world, vulnerabilities in our financial crisis. It has exposed all that, not to put us down, not to judge us, but to say, hey, we need to... Uh, listen for strategies and the Lord is so wanting to give his the world and his church strategies he wants us to, to have strategies and to receive his strategies and um, he wants us to know that he's close to us when we're about to break, when we we don't feel we can go any further, he wants to know. He wants us to know that he's still God, and he's still good. He's still close. He'll he'll say this. He'll say this right now. He, he'll say, "I'm so close. I can hear you breathing." I'm so near, I can wipe your tears and mend your heart. I know it's been broken, standing with my arms wide open. For so long, I've been waiting every day, anticipating for you to realize that I'm so close to you. I'm so close, I can hear you breathing. I'm so near, I can wipe your tears, mend your heart. I know it's been broken. I'm standing with my arms wide open. For so long, I've been waiting. Every day anticipating for you to realize that I'm so close to you. The Lord said he's so close to the brokenhearted, but you need to let him in. You need to let him in. You need to let those around you in. Um... Like, because you've been building up walls for so long, pretending everything's fine when it's not. Um, and he, he wants you to know that he's close. And he knows you're afraid. He knows you're, you don't know what to do. And he just wants to shoulder the, the burden with you. And it's not too late. It's not too late. He's just wor working things out. And, and this too will pass. But it will pass with a greater weight of glory that you have never seen. That the world has never seen. It'll pass with our health, health system 
stronger it will pass with our with everything better it'll pass with our financial system stronger this whole time in history uh, um, was to expose vulnerabilities in our society so that they could be fixed not to just say I'm go I'm going to uh, send this um, to kill a bunch of people or to make people lose jobs N no it was just to v expose vulnerabilities so we can fix them and he can help us to develop strategy so after this we'll have strategies for our health system we'll have strategies financially as a society in a world because without a problem we wouldn't know what needed to be solved. We we don't like problems and pressure, but they expose what needs to be worked on and what needs to be fixed. And it helps um, us to grow muscle, uh, spiritual muscle, when we know what needs to be worked on and fixed. And he's saying today, it's not too late it's not too late he's just he's going to be turning around things soon he's going to be doing something uh, that the world has never seen soon and it's going to be brighter it's going to be richer on the other side of this than we've ever seen books and businesses and innovative art projects and things like that are going to happen um, due to this time in history um, because for for the Lord nothing is wasted for the Lord nothing is wasted you may think things are wasted but he's going to work everything not even for his good not even only for his good but for those who love him and are the called according um, to his purpose. Not only for your good, but for the call according to his purpose. And you are, you are the called. So he's working everything out. And he wants me also to say before i sign up he wants me also to say that he loves you he's not trying to punish you he's trying to build you he's trying to mold you he's trying to make you into something all this um pandemic stuff all this racial stuff is trying to make us into a better world and it's trying to wake us up and turn us into a better society wake us up and turn us towards each other we need to stand together as the body of christ we need to stand together as a world and love each other help each other share together and this time in history has been the great equalizer um when george floyd was murdered Everyone came out in outrage. Uh, white people, black people, everyone. And, and this time in history is meant to bring us all together. And COVID can affect anyone, white, black, rich, or poor. So all this time in history is the great equalizer to, to show us that we're all equal no matter race religion um se uh, sexual orientation we are all equal and we are all i'm going to say uh something controversial i'm going to say that we are all his he created us but the only difference is from my mind to my mind anyway um is that 
And the only difference is between Christians and non-Christians is knowledge. You see, I know that I'm his and I receive that and I walk in that. But there are people out there that don't know, don't receive that they are, are his and that they are loved and that they are accepted by God. And he wants you to receive that today. We receive your love. We were, we was, we, we receive your reign. We receive your forgiveness. We receive your power. Lord, we receive every every good thing that you have for us. Despite what what the devil or ourselves may be saying, we put what you say above what we say. Um, you say we are loved. You say we are strong. You say we are yours. You say all this stuff about us. And we put that above anything, any illness, any job loss, anything. And we receive your love. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this brief time today. God bless you. Like a flood, like a flood, we receive your love when you come. Like a flood, like a flood. We receive your love like a flood, like a flood. We receive your love when you come like a flood, like a flood. We receive your love like a flood. Like a flood, we receive your love when you come like a flood, like a flood, we receive your love. Your too late is God's right on time. I'm going to say that. You're too late is God's right on time. When you think it is too late, when you think you are too old, when you think you're too weak to, to whatever, God is right on time. And he wants me to say today, it's never too late. It's never too late to start the business. It is never too late to... A dream it is never too late for whatever you've been thinking of to come to pass it is never too late for that relationship it is never too, too late for healing from COVID or cancer or any other illness it is never too late it doesn't matter um, what man says it doesn't matter what anybody says it is never too late for God to turn around any situation. He wants me to say, it is never too late. And this is so strange because um, when um, I, ca I was listening to Carol King's song, It's Too Late, and after, like this song has been in my head for two days and usually when a song is in my head for that long god is trying to say something but this time when i finished god said i want you to tell them it's never too late they don't have to sit in bed and pass the time they can be actively working on that business plan it doesn't matter if they're 50 it doesn't matter if they're whatever, they have three kids. It doesn't matter. The Lord wants to say it's never too late. 
it's not too late, and you're too late, is God's right on time. God had to take you through that. God had to um, uh, break you down. God had to challenge you because not so that he knows who you are, so that you know who you are. A lot of people don't know who they are until trouble strikes. And that's what the Lord has been doing in your life. He's trying to show you how strong you are, how resourceful you are, how magnificent of a person you are. He's trying to show you you. So receive his definition of you. Cancel out your definition of you. Your definition of you is so limited. Receive his definition of you. Receive when he says you're the head and not the tail. Above only and never beneath. A, a, lead, a leader and not a follower. Um, read Deuteronomy 28, the first um, part of it. Um, where he says you're blessed in the city, blessed in the field. Blessed when you come, blessed when you go. Just take that word to your heart, pin it somewhere, and remember to take on who he says you are, not who man says you are. So guys, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye. You say I am strong, and I say I am weak. Bye, guys. I will see you soon. Take care. I'll be praying for you. You are not defeated because God already defeated the grave. I don't care what's going on. But the last thing he wants me to say to you is you are not defeated. Lord, I pray that the spirit of defeat, Lord Jesus, I pray that it get off your people in the name of Jesus. Every demonic agenda to destroy their lives, I declare, is thwarted in the name of Jesus. They are strong. They are worthy. They're beyond worthy because you created us beyond worthy. You created us like hidden gems. And all those people that feel ignored, all those people that are hidden, Lord Jesus, you are getting ready to expose your hidden giants. You are getting ready to expose those people that have been overlooked, misused, abused. And Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your grace space. Lord God, we thank you for for the bad stuff that we thought that we don't, we didn't even know we thought. We thank you for saving our lives. We thank you for your divine protection. We thank you for just being God. We love you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We we give you praise, Lord. You are magnificent. You are worthy. 
and despite everything going going on, despite all the sickness, racial unrest, all God going on, you are still God. You are still God, and it is still your throne. In the name of Jesus, and I refuse to be cast down. I refuse to be afraid. I refuse to be. Um, I refuse to be um, afraid because of the things in my mind. No matter what's going on, you are still God, and you are still good. And this is still your earth. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Everything in this world is yours. Everything in this world is yours. No matter what the devil may be trying right now, Lord God, to get people discouraged, to get people scared, I declare your kingdom is here your kingdom is not coming it's here and i declare that we will praise the name of the lord we will serve the name of the lord we will adore the name of the lord in the name of jesus amen Break chains of low self-esteem right now. Break chains of break chains of people thinking they're not enough. Cause us to rise in who you say we are, not who we think we are. Cause who we think we are um, is not relevant, but who you say we are. That's the only thing that matters. Teach us how to receive who we really are according to your opinion, not man's opinion, not past mistakes or past failures. Or God, who you say you will, you, who, who you say we are according to your word. Cause us to take that on as ours. Cause us to rise in grace and power and love like you said that we should in the name of jesus amen 